Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 78. Thank you, Tang. Episode 78 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we are going to go green. And in fact, as you can see here, I've already started to go green, but I'm going to show you how to go green. And no, I don't mean green with envy. I don't mean green thumb. What I mean is, huzzah, green power, baby. You see that big, bright, beautiful square rising in the sky behind my head and oh I look good in green brings out the black in my eyes doesn't it oh, interesting uh anyway yes we're going to harness the power of the sun in Minecraft and we're going to do so by using the new daylight sensor daylight sensor is sort of like a uh, a solar power a solar panel and it will provide power um, just like a redstone torch for example or anything that provides power like a button or a lever and uh it does so by drawing energy from the sun. So it's green energy. And that will allow us to cut down on our fossil fuels and cut down on our uh, CO2 emissions. And we'll even get a green energy tax credit, I believe. So it's a it's like a win-win-win tank. Win-win-win. All good. All right. So um, why don't we get started? I think the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to actually craft a daylight sensor. And then we'll set up a little demonstration here. I'll show you how to use it, how it works. And then finally, at the end of this episode, or near the end anyway, we're going to apply the daylight sensor in a practical use by um, setting it up over here at Tower of Power and um, putting in some redstone lamps that will be powered on at night. Because the daylight sensor can also be inverted into a nighttime sensor. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. Well, two of my kids just came home from school, so I would expect lots of loud noises and or potentially a One Direction song in the background. So uh, you'll have to excuse that or just do what I do and ignore them. Right, Tang? Yes, exactly. I like your enthusiasm, Tang. Okay. With that said, let's get started here and craft up a daylight sensor. We will need a crafting bench, by the way, because we need all nine slots available. And as far as ingredients go, we need um, we need glass blocks, the full-size blocks. Nether quartz, this is now found in the nether. It uh, is generated there naturally after Minecraft 1.5, which was recently introduced. And uh, wooden slabs, and it does not matter what variety, what flavor. I happen to have oak wooden slabs in my pockets because... That's the kind of guy I am, but you can use uh, jungle wood, birch, or pine as well. And now let's go ahead and make one. So three glass along the top, the three nether quartz here in the center, sandwiched between the wood and the glass. Huzzah! We have a daylight sensor. Now, what do you suppose this thing could do? Uh, let me show you. So we plop it down like that. It's kind of a neat looking little thing. It's like a halfy slabby thingy. And, uh... As the name suggests, it does indeed sense daylight. So the sun creates the daylight. The daylight sensor senses it and says, Oh, sunlight, I shall create power. And that's what it does. So it basically emits redstone uh, current or power from um, all the into all the adjacent blocks. So we've got all four of these uh, redstone. This redstone circuits are now active and live, you can tell there because they're nice and uh, brightly lit and the little smoky moats there and not only does it provide power to the four adjacent slots on its side but it actually provides power above and beneath as well so i have a piston here ready for demonstration this is peter piston my volunteer hey don't get so pushy i think i must owe him money or something so there we go as you can see it's provided power now up to uh, the block above and i would dig beneath it and show you but you just have to trust me on this it does provide power beneath it as well um and now for the next demonstration what we're going to do is show you how much power this thing provides and how it is based on the position of the sun so so it does indeed um sense the daylight and the position of the sun determines the actual strength of the signal. So let's put it way back here. And we'll run some redstone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we'll put our we'll put Peter Piston right here. <clears throat> and as you can see, well, let's let's do this first. Let's take the piston back. We'll go out 16 blocks. So that's 16 blocks of redstone on that circuit this line and it stops for now anyway it's stopping right here 
on the 14th block. Oh, there we go. We lost 14, and now we're down to 13. So this is gradually going to uh, subside. The power here is going to be decreased. It's going to slowly decline all the way back until it's completely off. And that's because the sun is slowly setting. So as the sun goes down, the daylight sensor loses power. And it's going to lose another one here in a moment. You know what we can do? <clears throat> Let's get the full 15 first. And I'm going to do that by raising the sun. Ready? Rise. Rise. Ah, I'm losing my touch. Okay, let's just do... It doesn't respond to voice commands, apparently. Let's do this. We do a, a command in here in the cheat code. Time set 6,000. Actually, we put the sun at midday. That's the highest point of the sun right there. The strongest signal that we're going to receive from the daylight sensor, in fact. And that is the 15 blocks. And this is the 16th block. Um, so it should... Ow! Hey, 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 hey. Easy, Peter. That was a low blow, pal. I'm gonna, you're going to be disqualified, you know. So there you go. 15 blocks out. It'll provide power to the 16th, of course. And uh, it turns on the piston. And as the sun slowly sets, it's going to lose the power and the piston's going to go off. So this will kind of give you um, an idea of what you can start using this kind of this thing for. Not only can it uh, provide power during the day, but we can also invert the signal and have it provide power at night. And I'm gonna sh we're going to do that in a minute here up there at the uh, Tower of Power. So I don't know what kind of applications you can use this for. You just get creative. There's a lot of people already doing wacky stuff with this. Um, I would imagine you could do some sort of uh, a harvester, a day harvester. You know, so basically what you have is you have it turn on during the day and harvest, say, some, uh, some uh, sugar cane or something. It pushes the sugar cane out into some water. Sugar cane flows down into a hopper. And that gets put into a chest. And we're going to get to the hopper pretty soon. But um, And then, you know, then this thing's going to retract when the power leaves, when the power goes down. And we're going to do that right now. Let's set this to 9,000. Sun's going down. And then, at you know, at the end of the day, at some point of the day, this is going to pull back in. And then the sugar cane can continue to grow. And you could have that do every day or something like that, you know, at, at a specific point in time. Um, you could also have it, say, uh, open a door during the day and keep it open. And I don't have a door here to demonstrate, but you could have uh, a door open, right, during the day. And then at night, the door can close. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get ready for the... Uh, do I have all the redstone? I do not. We're going to need some redstone lamps for this. So I'm going to get prepared. I'm going to meet you up there. We're going to start digging underneath the stairway. We're going to put... Uh, six lights, redstone lamps on this stairway, and want them to turn on at night. Oh, by the way, yeah, let's let's show you how to invert the signal. So what we can do is something like this. Uh, we need a redstone torch. So, and I have, I do have one of these. So what we can do is now that the redstone torch, the the by default this is always on, so it provides its own power, and you can shut it off like that by providing another. Um, another input. So this input's basically telling that guy to shut off. So this is called a not gate. And this is how we're going to be able to uh, set up a nighttime system to provide power at night rather than the day, but simply by inverting that, that, uh, that signal here. So let me show you an example. Uh, if we do... Well, night's going to turn it to dusk. So it's still providing power. We're going to go a little bit later than that. Let's, let's go 18,000. 18,000 is actually midnight. Now, as you can see here, this is no longer providing any power. It's off. So the daylight sensor, it cannot sense any more daylight. It says, hey, sun's gone. Going to sleep now. And then the redstone torch says, hey, it's time to come on. I don't sense that daylight sensor, dude. So then he comes on, and then that'll provide power to the lighting, and that's what we're going to do up there. By the way, and I think I may have skimmed over this briefly, but this provides power. The uh, daylight sensor provides power. Um, it has to have access to the sun at some somewhere and it has to be an opening you can actually cover it all up and if you do cover it all up wh where are we with the sun all right sun's going up so it's not that high let's put it at let's put it at uh yeah all right, let's put it at midday strongest point okay and then we're going to cover this up i'm going to show you what happens here so it does actually have to have access to the sun at some point so it's still providing power 
it's still providing power but if you notice if you if you cover the top of it it lost a little power but the sun we're still it's still detecting sunlight from here a little bit not much and that's why it lost a little power and you can see that here that it lost a little bit and we're going to get some of that back you open it up and, and it gains strength now if you if you can cover it completely well, I guess you can't cover it completely here because we'll cut off the uh, we'll cut off the redstone circuit. But um, although we can, uh, you're not going to be able to look inside either unless we get inside, huh? But okay. Now it has sun here, so we have to block it off completely. I'm going to get in here and block that off and off. See? Now I can't get over there, but trust me, it's off. <laughs> here, let's put a block there instead. There we go. Okay, off. So there does not, it can't detect any any sunlight whatsoever. Now I suppose if we pop a little hole out here, I wonder. I haven't really tested this much. I wonder how much sun you need. See, even over here, even that hole over there gives it power. That's pretty cool. So you can hide these things so you don't see them anywhere. If you want to get real super fancy and aesthetically pleasing and you want to hide everything. Uh, personally, I like to have it showing. I think it looks cool and it says to the world, I'm green! Really? All right, um, I'll meet you up there with all the tools and everything we need to turn the lights on at night. So I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oh, 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 storm. This is good. I want to show you that uh, the power of the daylight sensor is actually affected by the storm. Because we have a thunderstorm going on right now, there's heavy clouds. And that does, the cloud cover will decrease the, uh, the amount of sunlight that can reach the daylight sensor. So it is actually a little bit weakened. So this is something that you must um, you must realize if you're going to use this in uh, in any kind of contraption that requires daylight or powerful daylight. So watch out! Hit the deck. That was close. Um, so now let's toggle. I'm going to toggle this off. Toggle downfall off, and we'll take a look over here as this thing. There it goes. There it's the day is clearing up. Sun's coming out. It's gaining strength again, and when the sun's fully down. I mean, when the uh, the storm is gone, this is where the well the position of the sun again still determines how far this goes. But when that storm dissipated, the power went back up. Went back up pretty quickly, actually. Okay, so my idea then is to put redstone lamps on either side of the stairway going up. I'm gonna put one here, and I put these torches out so I remember where I want to put them. I'm gonna put one here, and redstone lamps, by the way, are are off by default until they receive some sort of power. And that's what we're going to do with the uh, with the daylight sensors. By inverting the signal, and we're going to have these power up at night. So we're going to put this one here. There and here. And then finally, one here and one there. Bam, boom. And that should do. All right, so now let's do this. We're going to dig in. Um, I'm going to dig in right here. So we want to provide power. And I'm going to put the daylight sensor actually on the other side. And I'm going to have it hanging out a little bit over. It's going to be on the edge of the cliff side so we can see it. I want to be able to see it because uh, I want to make it look like it's a solar panel. You know, I think that'll look kind of nice. Like there's a solar panel sticking out the side of the mountain, and it's providing this power here. Now, um, what are you doing there? So we're just going to dig in back here. And we, what we want to do is take our redstone torches and provide power up to these guys like that, right underneath. So there's one block between. Let's get rid of that for a moment. And as you can see here, that redstone will, uh, will send power t through this block into the redstone torch, um, into the redstone lamp and turn it on. Um, we can't see this one over here, but we're going to make a little space. I hope this shovel lasts. And we're going to dig out a little bit. Not sure how far we want to go, but basically I want to keep all the redstone hidden underneath the staircase. Um, and what we're going to do is now provide power like this. And then what I'm going to do is run this line out this way and then up. 
So now I'm gonna I'm gonna mine up. I'm gonna make a stair, one block stair all the way up, um, and then do the same thing for the next next set of redstone lamps over here. Now let's see. We're gonna go in right here, and I'll cover it all back up to make it look nice eventually. But <gasps> air spy. Oh darn it. I really don't want the spies to know about the daylight sensors. This could this could make things really difficult for me. <laughs> well, if he gets close, he's going down. All right, so we're going to go back a couple here, right? Right tool for the job. Make some space for the redstone. And did I do that right? I got the right two. Two more redstone there, and they're both on. Yes, indeed they do. We're going to go right through here. Actually, what we're going to do is uh, let's run this redstone. Whoa! There's a hole! Well, that's cool. Holes in the ground always lead to adventure. Uh-oh, he's getting close. Shh, 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 shh. Oh my gosh! He found me! Get out of here! Spy! <laughs> Dumb chickens. All right, well, let him, He, you know what? He thinks he's going to get out of here alive, but I will not let him out alive. I'm going to keep him happy right now. He can just kind of look around. I think he's, you know, he's, he thinks he's the boss right now. He thinks he's he's fooling me. I'm not a spy, sir. I'm just an interested chicken. As if there's a difference. And then uh, when the time comes, I'm taking him down. Maybe he'll fall into this pit. All right, so same thing here. And, of course, we have a... Hole in the ground here causing interesting uh, dilemma. I guess we can handle this. Got enough dirt for it anyway. Block that off. And let's see, we got uh, yeah, this one. We're going to have to put some dirt there to hide this redstone torch eventually, but that ought to do for now. And there we go. All right. By the way, did you see the uh, Minecraft 2.0 April Fool's video I did with the blue chickens? Yes, the ones that attack. Actually, they all attacked, didn't they? Not even just the blues. The blues, <laughs> the blues exploded occasionally. <laughs> just random explosion. Um, but the uh, regular chickens, when you when you hit them, they would attack you in groups. It was like my worst nightmare. Beat it. I'm not really, I'm not a spy, sir. I'm just a chicken, just looking at things. I'm just going to go up here, if you don't mind, check out Tower of Power. Now I'll just go say hi up to uh, Iggy. Iggy! Iggy's my pal. Just going to go say hello. Iggy's like, I don't know any chickens. He's a spy, boss. <laughs> All right, how about we get back to the <laughs> the project? All right, so let's see. We have, uh, these two are going to power them. We're going to go up. We're going to start going up right here. And it looks like I'm going to need some lighting. So, I have some torches for that purpose. Now, oops. All right, we don't want that. We want to go... Oh, maybe he's laying... He's laying eggs up there, Mr. Chicken. Mm-hmm. Seeds of evil. Seeds of evil. And then we're going to run right up here one at a time so that they stay connected. And then we're going to connect these two like that. Bam! Nice. This might actually work. <laughs> That's the scary part. Not much of a redstone guy. All right, now we're going to continue up here. And we want to go one at a time. Oh, there we go. Bang. Nice. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of you, my friend. And you, and you. And one, two, three, four, five. Right across. That will meet this line here. And that should be good. Sweet! So, now what we're going to do is put the, the daylight sensor. It's already night. Uh, the daylight sensor is going to go in the center. In the center pair. And we're going to run this right out here. Right out to the side of the mountain. Where Tower of Power rests. Ta-da! And we'll make like a nice looking um, shelf or something here. Now, we, we are going to need... We're going to need the redstone repeater here. And I'll tell you why. Because this is not going to reach this... Uh, the daylight center is not going to reach all the way up and all the way down. So we're going to need to push the signal out a little bit. 
Um, but we don't want to have it too close to the daylight sensor because... Yeah, well, we're going to try that out for now. We'll put it right there in that spot. And now I need a platform for my daylight sensor, and I want it to look pretty. So let's go back. I had an idea to use black wool for this. There he goes! Pretending once again that... He's friends with Iggy. All right, let's go back over here, and we're going to put up some torches first. Let's we'll see what I'm doing. I'll take those down momentarily. Um, I don't need the redstone right now, so let's make a platform here. Uh, dig down, and how about... Well, the redstone's going to have to come across this, so let's just make a little... This would be like the base, and I'll have... I have enough. Just have this jut out a little bit. And then we'll put the daylight sensor in the center, maybe? How's that? Does that stick out enough or too much? And then we'll surround it in glass. But before we put the glass on, I just want to be sure this is what we're going to do. And I'll get rid of this. Get rid of the dirt because I want the whole thing to be shown all angles and like that oh man it's a spiderific night oh hey <laughs> so have a nice fall um now if i put the redstone here i just don't want to cut it off all right well, i'm gonna have to make it day to make sure that this this actually works so let's just do that we're gonna cheat a little here and we're gonna go time set day and I want to see if that let's go check it out oops can I get out over this way uh it's a little dangerous now that should be they should be off all right they're all off that's what we want now if we set the time to night which is dusk and if you just type out night it sets it to 12 5 and that's dusk not coming on yet let's see when they come on about 13,000. Okay, so they come on at 13,000. I would like it to come on a little bit earlier, right at dusk and right at day. So one, two, three, four. So we want, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Where was I? Six out. Oh boy. Now they're starting to run up there. All right, let's go night. Lights are on. Let's, whoops, let's go to day first. And I want them off. We go off. At night, they come on instantly. That's what we wanted. Yep. Duh. So, right. So when when the night when we do night, it's 12.5. At 12.5, it instantly turns on. So we must be right at. Let's do it from this side. No, actually, let's do day first. So day they're all lit at 12.5 at night. It drops down to one, two, three, four. So that's where that's the cutoff, and that's where we want the cutoff at night. Right. Whoo. 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 It's too much thinking involved in all this nonsense. So now what we want to do is put um glass around it. I'm wondering, I'm not sure how much glass I want. Maybe. I want too ugly looking, but that that might look nice like that. How's that? Although, yeah, I know I'm wasting stuffs here, but oh no, um, I might want to come back with some stone. But I'll I'll just use cobble for this. I know this is going to drive a lot of people crazy, but I'll, I'll have to go get some stone, regular gray stone for that particular block. And that's the daylight. That is my solar panel that controls the lighting. So we are green, baby. At least over here. Okay, now let's get rid of the torches. We don't need them anymore. And I'm going to fill up... I'm going to hide all this redstone over here. Whoops. I almost... I almost smacked it. And then the grass will grow back on these. And we'll just hide it nice, nice. Like that. There we go. Looking good. We just want to make sure we don't cut off 
any of the signals. There, that's good. So then the grass is going to grow back on that, and we'll have it all green again. And now we can't see any of the redstone circuitry beneath the stairs. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, how about if we go away over here? We cake. And take a look. Oh. Up, bitty, up, 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 up. All the way over here. This is where we had the old fireworks. Remember? Whoa, big party down there. It's a monster mash. The monster bash. Whoa, hey. Off my mountain. Okay, so now it's night. It looks pretty. Let's do day. Huzzah. Off. And then night. Bam. Comes on at dusk. And they get to burn up in the light. I love it. Oh, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. They get to live another day. I'm that kind of guy. All right. So there we go. That is the daylight sensor with... Uh, Inverted lights here, and you can see how that works. Simply by inverting the signal. Um, don't need that bone. Ah, you think that was funny? Me falling, huh? Hmm. Wait till I take more of your fur. We'll see who gets the last laugh. Okay, before I let you go, I just wanted to show you a minor adjustment that I made here. So I dropped this down. Um, I dropped the redstone down a level, and I put it underneath the daylight sensor. Just because I think it looks a little bit cleaner, at least when I close this up. So we're gonna do that right now. Oh, and I put this, um, I put the nether fence in here to make it look like there's a support. I think that looks a little bit nicer from from a distance that it has. That's not just jutting out from the side of the uh, the hillside here. And let's step back and take a look. I'm just gonna put a little dirt right there to get up here and get those torches. And I also broke the glass that was along um, on the two sides of, uh, of this particular block because it, it was too big. I think um, I like having it out here. It shows the world that, yes, indeed, I am green, harnessing the power of the sun and cutting down on my <coughs> CO2 emissions. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I wanted to make it a little bit smaller, a little more compact looking. So there we go. So that's the, this is the, uh, the finished product. However, we now... Let's make sure that we give our system here a new solar panel, a five-star energy rating to get that proper tax credit. Five-star energy rating. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Now, oh, you know what? I wanted to remove some of this dirt. I put this here just to climb up so I could, so I could get up there and access things a little bit better. There we go. Okay. What do you think? Not too bad. Not too shabby. You could make it a little smaller if you want. You don't have to have it jet out three. You could have it jet out two, maybe, and put the panel closer to the wall. But um, this gets a lot of sun here. We're going to get full strength because the sun rises in the east and it hits the peak, and then it goes back down here, and it's the uh, the solar panel is in uh, in in full view of the sun the entire time, practically. So um, there you go. Works great. All right, we're green. Now it's time to uh oh well it's day i was gonna go to bed but maybe we'll go swimming instead how about some fishing fishing okay let's go do some fishing all right we'll see y'all soon hope you enjoyed have a nice day bye bye i know i stopped swinging my pick because somebody got in the way of it i know um, i stopped swinging i have my pick. did you just fall <laughs>